Hello beautiful souls. Welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid Light. This is a quick pick a card reading going who is watching you and why, okay? So we want to know who's watching you and why are they watching you. Today we have three options. I do want to mention that I am open for readings. If you want a reading, please feel free to email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. All right, so Wow, I totally forgot what I was going to say there. <laughs> also, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. That would greatly help your girl out. But there are three options today. We have um, Malachite with option one. Option two, we have Smoky Quartz. Option three, we have Clear Quartz, okay? So we're going to start with this reading. Feel free to take your time. If you feel called to multiple options, that's totally fine. I don't mind. This is a timeless reading. All right, so Malachite is quite an interesting stone. Some say it's good for protection. Um, I, I see Malachite as um prosperity, grounding, healing. To me, this is a um, multifaceted stone. I, I love this stone. And it talks a lot about the design and pattern. I'm getting design pattern of life, sacred geometry. Um, design and pattern. Maybe someone's into fashion or maybe someone's into um, design, architecture, any type of work with design. It doesn't have to be fashion. It's, it could be anything with design. Okay. So that's coming through. That could be you or them. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. Wow, let's talk about healing. Anxiety, worry, okay? So, hmm, this could be someone who's worried about you. Someone could be worried about you. This person could also be spiritually, I'm watching you. Look how we have the two eyes here in the corner. Hmm, spiritual watching could be anything from like psychic readings, astral projecting, um, they could even be watching you at night, like maybe on their social social media account. If you guys share same um, share social media accounts, um, what I mean by that is if you follow each other or if you're on social media, they could be watching that way. But this could also be some type of spiritual stalking. This could even be someone getting a reading. Okay, great fortune is here. Twenty six. What else? High priest or priestess. That kind of goes right along with that spiritual stalking so this person could be going to a psychic or a reader to stalk to to watch you okay to get messages about you or to check on you or get information on you this person could also be spiritually gifted and they have the ability to kind of like tap in with other people's energy to see where they are or um maybe they're into tarot or oracle cards or some type of form of divination and maybe they've done a reading on you um that this person could be in the occult of some sort or you could be, and it could also be that they're going to someone to get this information. But we're asking who's watching you. So we have High Priestess or Priestess, Nine of Swords. Visionary, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. So this could be someone who's a psychic because it looks like her little magic ball. This could be someone who is spiritually gifted who's watching you. Okay? So... Wow. And they could be fortunate. They might have the Midas touch because look at how this ball is gold, right? Around it. This light is around it. And then they're pouring out this gold here. So this could be someone who's gifted in that way. And maybe they make good, you know, a good amount of um, uh, prosperity or money or um, fortune. Or maybe they're abundant. Maybe they make good money doing what they do. Or maybe they should be doing this for a living. Because they would make great fortune, but this person's fortunate in some type of way. But yet, they're up at night worried. So this is someone who's gifted, fortunate, has visions. They're, um, they have some clears, some type of clears. They could be having um, prophetic visions, prophetic dreams at night. This person could have prophetic dreams and visions. And maybe they had one of you and this is why they're watching you. Okay, and it could even be that they are the high priestess and yet they went to another high priestess to get information on you because I know sometimes for readers, um, readers will go to other readers to get readings because they feel like they're too invested in the situation. And they want an outside opinion. So let's see. We have cancer. So this person could be a cancer. Water signs are very um, psychic in my opinion. They're very intuitive. We have nurture, comfort, and protection. So this person is watching you possibly because they want to protect you in some type of way. 
they could be worried about you. And I don't know if they had a vision or dream of something. And it doesn't mean that the dream or vision was true. It just means that something is keeping them up at night and they're worried. So anxiety, worry, and protection, nurture, and comfort. They could be wanting you to, wanting to protect you from someone or something. So why are they watching this? Why are, why are they watching option one? Relationships, right? Merlot. So maybe they saw something of, um, when it came to a person that you're dealing with. It could be a friend. It could be a family member or a partner, a current partner. And it could be that they had a vision about that person. So example, for example, say you're seeing someone, right? Or you're friends with someone. This person could have had a vision or a dream about this person being deceitful or cheating on you or just being a toxic friend or this person. They could have had a dream or a toxic family member. They could have had a dream of something or a vision of something and they don't know how to tell you. It could be that they're trying to figure out, okay, is this true? Was this like false? You know, was this a prophetic dream or was this just a weird one, of those weird wonky dreams? Which one is this? Was this on point or not? So... They're watching you because of some type of relationship. Yeah, and look at all that burgundy. That's the root chakra. The root chakra has to do with stability. We have that same red here. We have gold and red. So gold is prosperity and abundance. That's that light. That's that solar plexus energy. That's that confidence, creativity. Um, and then we have this root chakra energy here with stability. So this person's worried about your stability when it comes to relationships, is something safe, is something secure? They could also be worried about the stability of you guys' connection, your friendship or family. If this person could be a family member or friend, it, they could be um, a close friend or they could be a, maybe even an ex-partner. This is someone that is looking out for you in some type of way. They're worried. They, they sent something, they see something, and they're worried. Hmm. Finances. Ah, oh, talk about the root chakras. So now we have finances here. So great fortune. Maybe this person is abundant and prosperous, and maybe they're wanting to help you. We have great fortune at the top describing them. And now we have the finances here at the bottom. So... Maybe they feel, and for some of you, they could be afraid that someone's with you just to take your stability from you. Or they're afraid that you have people around you because they only want from you. And they want to protect you. So this person could be someone who's a bit older than you is what I'm getting. This could be like a big sister, a big brother, or someone who just has an older energy to them. Like, you know how a lot of us have friends that have old souls, like they're like that old wise soul that's like, they can able they can be able to pick up on people. Sometimes we think you're, you think they're paranoid, but they're able to pick up on people quite, you know, quicker than others. Um, someone who intuitively has a gift. Now, they're telling me to rewind and tell you guys that for some of you, this person isn't walking around here all woo woo. Like crystals and I'm a psychic medium and I'm a tarot card reader. This person could just be told, like gifted and they could be like a nurse or um, it could be doing anything. You know, this person just has a gift of knowing, of sensing that someone or something ain't right. Okay. And it may come through via dreams or, or visions for them. They're gifted whether they say it or not. And um, they're sensing something and they're wanting you to protect your, they're wanting you to protect your resources and protect yourself because it could be that there's a, what do they call them, smoocher, like a, someone who's trying to smooch off of you or someone who's trying to um, use you. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be someone that you could be dating or in a relationship with. They're afraid that this person is going to use you. Hmm. It's like that situation you see you see it in movies and shows, right? Where a friend is happy to be in a relationship with someone or maybe a friend has a, fr a friend that they're happy to be connecting with and the other friend or the sibling or the cousin or family member, whomever, partner, can tell that something's off with this friend or this partner and they're afraid to tell the person because they're afraid they're going to get mad at them for saying, for assuming that this person may not be up to any good. But later on they do find out, okay, I had to find out on my own that person was a little weird okay why
pathway because they're trying to illuminate the path for you. This person cares about your, 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 they care about your stability in general. So this could even like a, this person is nurturing. So this is like mother energy. It's very feminine. I, I strongly feel that for you guys, this option, this is a feminine energy, a strong feminine energy who's looking over you trying to, um, trying to protect you with this great fortune being poured out poured out it's like they're trying to pour out their blessings like trying to pour out their gifts onto you in some type of way but just because somebody wants to offer some something doesn't mean that other people are receptive to it so um they care about your path they care about enlightenment your transformation and they care about your mental well-being and look we have raised your vibration look and that goes right along with this pathway with that light so the reason why they're watching you is because they want you to raise your frequency. And maybe they see that you've been changing and evolving and they see you on this good path. And then they're like, oh, please don't let anyone come out, come in and mess that up for you. Like they, they really care about your, the, your, you evolving. So I'm not getting anything negative from this person at all. They care about you evolving. Who is this person? I'm, who is this person? Queen of Pentacles. Look at that wise charming loyal and loving bingo queen of pentacles great fortune visioner mother so this person could have earth and water in their chart heavy they could have capricorn taurus virgo and cancer place some type of cancer placement yeah this is a nurturer with the red merlot i don't know why it's gonna be that like that woman who, who sits at home with her wine and her kids and she's taking care of things and yet she's able to still give advice while she's handling five different tasks it's it could be something like that for someone, but um, this is someone who's a bit more mature than you, okay? And it, it just depends. They're mature in a way, and they're looking out for you. Mm -hmm. Look, the empress at the bottom of the deck. Bingo, the mother. So this could be your mother. This could actually be your mom or your grandmother. For a very few of you, this could even be a feminine energy that's passed on. And that is, I know that's going to sound creepy because we're like, who's watching you? We assume that it could be someone like watching on social media or, but, but this, with this visionary and the nine of swords, the sleep and the butterflies here in the eyes, this could actually be with the raise your vibration, the protection here. This could be a guardian. That's for some of you. Okay. <laughs> or someone who might be able to even connect with people who pass on, but this is a mother, fertility, grace, love, nurture. We have love here, loving this person's loving and they care about you. That's that's their energy you're telling me to leave the empress out okay so look at the gold again yeah so this person is golden golden high priestess stop stop it the high priestess dream wisdom inner voice spirit world yeah and i don't know why they're showing me friends monica from friends you know how she was like kind of like that in charge cooking taking care of everything i mean she had her own secrets but she was kind of like helping other people she was like the one who had common sense in the group it's like that. Like out of the friend group, the person who has common sense, if this is a friend, um, the one who's older in energy, or this is a mother, or for a lot of you, this is a mother or grandmother. This is a mother. It doesn't mean that it's your mother, but this is a mother figure, a, a very strong feminine figure with the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, and the High Priest. Strong feminine. Strong feminine. This is a woman, okay? This is a woman who is looking out for you and watching over you and they have some type of spiritual gift. And look, they have a skull. So that right there is higher knowledge, higher wisdom, maybe even higher education. Or with the high priestess here twice, this person has some type of spiritual abilities. Their third eye chakra, they have the third eye right here is wide open. And they have a snake here around them, which makes me think of a mommy wada. It makes me also think about um, Marie Laveau. This person has some type of psychic ability, some type of spiritual gift, and they are able to see things, um, whether they acknowledge it publicly or not. They're abundant and they're fruitful and they are gifted and they are looking out for you. They're worried. Or they're looking at you because they think you're worried about something. So they just want you to raise your frequency. Look, Will of Fortune karma destiny so this is faded whatever is occurring right now this is faded maybe this person is supposed to kind of like you know be in your life to kind of look over and kind of protect you in a way it's like they see the spiritual aspect of it all and you're more focused on the 3d they're seeing the 5d 
of it all. So why they're watching you? Because they see that you could be raising your frequency or they're wanting you to raise your frequency. And they know that when you raise your frequency, your finances are going to raise and you're going to have better relationships. You need to know this. They could be trying to teach you, share this with you. So um, this is Wheel of Fortune. Great Fortune is here and we have Wheel of Fortune. So they, they could be trying to share something. This could even be like a mentor. Someone trying to share some type of knowledge with you on how to level up, how to raise your frequency. How to get all these things. You have relationship, finance, raise your frequency pathway. Could be trying to guide you, get, help you to get rid of this anxiety and to move you forward. Comfort and protection. So that's what I have for you guys. Let's see if we can get some charms. Just a little bit. I don't have that much time today, but let's see. I have a lot of schoolwork, you guys. Huh, finances. I feel like this is going to grow. If you, if you raise your frequency, um, there's someone you might have to eliminate. I just heard eliminate from your life. Yeah, they're showing me like those TV shows like on The Bachelorette, The Bachelor. Uh, you know, someone's got to go home. Okay, not everyone's going to get a rose. It, it's kind of like that. And this could be family, friends, whomever. They're saying someone's got to go, Jack. That's what I just heard. And don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack. Okay, so, yeah. You know, sometimes people get mad when you try, when they try, when you, you, when they try to tell someone that, hey, your partner, you know, you might want to watch them, you know? Some people get offended, so this person could be like, eh. You know, or it could be a friend. Who is this person? What do they want them to know? What can we get here? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because, mm-hmm, we have stay. I'm getting stay. I don't know why I'm hearing that song by Neo. Stay with me. I want you to stay with me. And we have say. Say something. That's what I just heard. And we have sat. Saturday. SATs. Testing. Okay. What else? Something is test. Oh, maybe you're going through a test. A spiritual test. Ah. I don't know why I just heard Nissan. Nissan. We have Sia, the artist. We have Nia here. Nia. We have Tia, so this could be someone's aunt. We have T.O., uncle maybe. <laughs> um, let's see. We have Tan. I just heard Tanner. We have Tan. Taino. That's what I just heard, Taino. Taino. Is someone Puerto Rican? Is someone Dominican, Cuban? What's going on here? Um, we have at... I don't know why I just heard ask. And we have piano. The P isn't here, but I'm hearing piano. Siano. Sienna. Sienna, you guys. Sienna. We have Sona. Sun. We have Sun. Maybe. Okay. Maybe someone has a Sun. We have Sona. I just heard Mona. We have Noah coming in. Owen and Noah. Um, I don't know why I just heard Fiat. Toby. We have Tone. And we also have Stone. Stone. Something being written in Stone or Stone. Oasis is what I just heard. Oasis. I just heard Welcome to the Fallout. Da -da 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 -da. I dare you to move. I dare you to live your life. Um, I dare you to move. Listen to that song, Switchfoot. Go listen to that song, you guys. Sting. I don't know why I just heard stoner. Okay. Owen, Aaron, Aston. I don't know why I just heard Aston. Um, what is his name? Ash, Ashton Kutcher. Okay, so we have eat. Maybe this person likes to eat or maybe you like to eat. Maybe this person likes to cook. Eat. Eatery. I just heard eatery. Tone. Something about tone. Voice of tone. Tone. Same. I just heard sanity. Okay. I just heard sorry something. Sorry something. They could be anti-something. They could be anti-someone in your life. There could be something that they're seeing. 
ASO, anti, scene. Scene. Hmm, Sean. Um, I just heard scene, but we have Sean here. Sean. Yeah. Anna, we have Anna and we have ants. So community working together. Seal. Okay, that's what I have for you guys, all right? So let me know how that resonates. If you guys saw anything, I hope you were able to see the chart, see the little um letters. But I'm seeing you guys love, okay? We're moving on. Option two. Option two, you have the smoky quartz. What's going on here? Who's watching you and why? Who's watching you? We have the four of wands, creativity, union, and freedom. Okay. So when I see the four of wands, that could be a partner. That could be a, um, someone you're in a relationship with. Someone you're currently in a relationship with. Someone that you're in an on and off relationship with. This could be a family member as well. This could be someone you have, have a family with or someone that is a part of your family community of some sort but when i see the four wands i think of an initiation i think of um a commitment of some sort so this would be either like close family this could be family um this could be an ex-partner or current partner it could be okay community Shh. definitely a part of your community okay so who's watching you someone who's a part of your community Maybe a partner, even if it's like a business partner, it could be a family member, a close friend, someone in your close tribe, your circle is watching you. Wars and battles, possibly someone you had a battle with or disagreement or arguments with or a fight with, okay? That's who, that's who you're gonna know. And we have rebel. Okay, so challenges authority to affect social change, rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs, shadow attributes, rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. So this could be someone who's rebellious. Yeah, so you had a disagreement with someone who's watching you, someone you had a disagreement with who's a part of your community, family, relationship, someone in your close circle could be a close friend, ex-partner, family member, someone in your close tribe that you had a, some type of disagreement with argument with battle with in some type of way and they're being rebellious or they are just a rebellious soul we have house four look at the eggs in the nest and this says cultural and family roots home peace and comfort the four wands is about home so maybe this was about a home maybe this was about family she's sitting here in her little tree house on her couch and they, look, we have two tree branches, two tree branches. She's sitting on a tree branch, right? And we have a tree branch with the, with the nest, the eggs. So this could be like, um, for example, this could be a child. This could be a parent or a family, the family tree. So someone who's a part of your family tree or someone you were creating a family with, this is that. Because it's almost like, you know, when kids get mad, and they're like, fine, I'm leaving. And they go and, what movie is that where they go, they went and stayed in the treehouse? And it, I don't know why they just show me stranger things when they went to look for Will in, the, in, in his little, in the little house, um, the little outside area. But no, this could be, this is definitely family. Family roots, the trees, tree branches. And if you think about it, look, the four wands, they have branches. So we have tree branches and, and look, he even has a staff, a wooden staff. So wood trees symbolic so this is family someone you had a battle with fam in your family hmm. magic reconcile differences okay so this person's watching you because they want to reconcile and they may have a prideful way of saying it they may not know how to come about it but this person wants to reconcile throat chakra blue with her in the blue here they're wanting to communicate. They're wanting to reconcile. Trust and faith, the angels here. So they could be feeling divinely guided to come forth and to reconcile. They actually could be praying or calling on angels to guide them, to help them to say what needs to be said or to, to heal this mend this. This is giving me temperance. This is like balance, patience. It's going to take a lot of patience here, a lot of healing, um, a lot of, you know, each person needs to be willing to listen to the other. So, yeah, this could even be a sibling. This could be a parent. You know, anybody in your family. Sibling, parent, cousin, auntie, uncle. 
some grandparent, whomever is a part of your close family, but I'm getting this would be someone who is a part of your family tree. Why? Because there's going to be change. Maybe this person's moving or you're moving or it could be that they want to move out of this. And look, they have furniture here. Maybe you're going away to college or someone's going away to college. I don't know. I just got that for someone. Um, that's not for everybody. Um, but it could be that this person just, it's like, when you look at this, this is baggage, right? He's putting the baggage in this car. And then not, and this is, this is change. This is right before completion. So this person, it could be a situation where this person's like, let's talk about it. Let's get everything off of our chest. Let's put the baggage in the car and let's move this sucker forward. Metaphorically speaking, right? That's a some symbolic of this, this car represents the the drive the wheel they're saying chariot they drive the wheel to want to push things forward so meaning they don't want to stay stuck in the same energy they don't want the five of pentacles that's what i just heard they don't want to be left out of your life or left out um maybe they don't want to leave you out anymore so this person is wanting to um kind of Put all the baggage in the car and, and drive the sucker away. Get it out of the house. Get the clutter out of the house. Get this out of our nest. So get it out of, you know, our this relationship. So this is something that needs to be unpacked. Something that needs to be said. Something that needs to be moved forward. Taken away. Given away. Um, that's all symbolic. It's like when you're giving stuff away. Why did they just say Marie Kondo? It's crazy. I just mentioned her that I wanted to channel her <laughs> the clean. Um, but but it's it's that energy of um let's go through all this clutter and this junk, meaning the baggage, the different situations, the arguments, the disagreements, whatever is being left unsaid. Let's talk about it. Let's unpack this ish. Let's let's look at it and start throwing stuff in the black trash bag so that we can decide to take this out and say that we both no longer need to discuss this anymore it's out it's in the trash we can give it away we can throw it away but it's not in our our home it's not in our nest it's not in it's not toxic for us anymore because we've unpacked it together and we've both mutually decided that we are done with this and we can move this out of our lives it, I don't know why they're talking in that kind of manner, like why they're sharing it in that manner, but maybe someone is into cleaning or house decor or home decor, um, interior design, set design, architecture, um, real estate, or someone could just be into cleaning or organizing. Um, that's just some, that doesn't have to be, but, um, it's that example though, like clear out the, the place before you, you decorate it. <laughs> right you gotta clean before you decorate so meaning that in order for two people or a community to come together in a healthy way they need to get to the the root the core right the tree branches we need to get to the root of the matter why is there an issue here because we're not gonna have fun and there isn't gonna be any peace until we get to the root of the situation so that we can have come have this comfort here this trust here so yeah why is this person watching you because they want strength and guidance they want to they're praying for strength and guidance with this trust and faith they're wanting to know how can we reconcile these differences how how can we change this how can we get this stuff in the car and get that sucker out of get get this car from in front of our home you know it's symbolic it's all symbolic of how can we get this baggage out and moving in out of our lives how can we send this uber on its way so that we can be fine here like what what is it that we need to discuss so that we can move forward so something needs something's got to give you know that kind of vibe something's got to give something's got to change um so that we can feel you know comfortable with each other so it's going to take a lot of communication, a lot of um, listening, not just speaking over each other, but listening and, and understanding um, and not and not taking things personal, you know, and also not projecting. So this is going to take a lot of um, self-awareness for both people to come together to to heal this, um, to actually address it, 
it can't be that one person's like, no, let's just talk about this one situation and let's get over it. Because the other person might be more concerned about the root of the situation. Like, oh, it wasn't just this one situation. It was everything that happened over the course of 10 years or five years or whatever, you know, how many years. Where one person's like, let's just get over and move on. The other person's like, no, but what about this? That This happened and this is what made this lead to this. So both parties or however many people are involved in this have to be willing to listen to each other and to to not over speak or to not talk at but to have a healthy communication so this is going to take a lot of healing with the throat chakra for both parties so this is something that needs to be addressed and um the pride and ego has to be removed from this situation if this if you want to work this out if they want to work this out um because this could easily i'm gonna be real with you whomever this is that that that's watching you this could easily kind of stay in this how do i say it it's not gonna stay stuck they're saying this could either move forward for the better in this car the, the baggage could be you know packed up in the car and this person can move on and you guys may have a long period of time where you don't talk and this could just add on to the issues and drama or you guys could come together in this change and, and fully unpack what this is you know, because if you think about it, maybe this car just arrived at this place. Maybe they're taking the luggage off out of the car. Um, so you have to think about it in this way. Like, okay, do we want to unpack this and heal from this? Really get to the root of the core? Root, the root of the situation? So we have this comfortable, peaceful, happy family, family roots. This is ancestral healing as well. So this could be something that's coming up because you guys signed a contract to go through this. Or do we want to just like put all the bags here and say, hey, F it, throw up my middle finger, I'm out. It's up to you guys. Because either way, it's a lesson for both of you. So someone is watching you or a couple of people are watching you. It has to do with this person's a part of your community, your family, or these people are a part of your community and family. They're wanting to reconcile differences, but there needs to be healthy communication. So they're wanting to change the situation. And the angels are involved here. The angels do have a hand in this. Okay, so let's see if we can get some more. Ooh, can we get one? Yeah, they're definitely watching. Give me one, please. <laughs> look, watch it. Look, she's got the... <laughs> look, watching me. I'm hearing that Jill Scott song, watching me, watching me. Okay. If someone could be a conspiracy theory, um, theorist. Maybe you're into conspiracy theories. I don't know. I just heard that for someone... Okay, let's see what's going on. Someone could be anti-social media, yet they go on social media to watch other people. Okay, let's see what's going on. Who is this person and why are they watching? Option two. Page of Pentacles. We have talent, skill, money. Okay, so we have this youthful energy coming off as a rebel. So this person could be younger in age or you could be to them. High Priestess came out in option one. Inner voice, spirit world, dreams, wisdom. See, spirit world. This person could be spiritual. They could believe in angels or you could believe in angels. They could be religious. It doesn't. It just depends. You don't have to be religious to believe in angel, angels. I just heard angles. So this person's trying to um, shift the narr narrative or um, kind of get you to see a different ang like, angle view of things. Yeah, this person's trying to study on how to approach you. Look, I said five pinnacles earlier. They don't want that. Hardship, loss, struggle. Yeah, so they feel like out, like um, abandoned or left out of your life or alone. They want to come back in. Like, let me back into your life. Both of these people are outside of this home. Like, okay, like, are you kicking me out? Are we not, you know, like, and this could actually be, you know, a situation where maybe someone's kicked out or left out. Or it could be that, you know, you kicked me out of your life. You know, maybe they blocked you or maybe you blocked them. You know, someone someone did some leaving out, okay? And the hermit, look, hermit, solitude, inner work. So someone may have said, you know what, I'm stepping away so I can just do me and get my, you know, do my own things. There could also be a disagreement with spiritual beliefs is what I'm hearing. Maybe that was an argument as well. King of Swords is here. So we have a King of Swords that has ambition, power, influence. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And I would say we have Pisces here. So 
an Aries a bit is what I'm hearing. Dang, they just said Sag. Okay, that's a lot of signs. Just give me the whole damn Zodiacs. Um, signs, all of them. <laughs> just heard. Okay, so we have King of Swords. So someone who's a little bit more, um, yeah, I can get it like in their head. Like, you know, maybe this person tries to use their intelligence or maybe you do. Someone tries to use their intelligence or their, you know, strategy to get over on people. Or not, not really get over, but maybe they're annoying. Like, okay, you think you know it all or you think you, you think you know me. So there is a know-it-all in this pal. I don't know who it is. It could be you or them or someone's assuming. So, yeah. Look, the creator, no. So, oof, I don't know how this is going to go. Because you have Thunderbolt and Lightning and she's holding on to her cat. And the creator. The creator is like the divine. So you have a trust and faith. You have the strength and guidance. And you have the creator, no. Mmm. Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. She's single and independent, abundant, all on her own. You know, I see her as living alone, you know, kind of doing things, going at things alone. Accomplishment, prosperity, and stability. So, ay, ay, ay. This, I don't know. It's like there's a divinely, a divine hand in this, but someone is, someone has some type of spiritual guidance, but in a way with the creator coming out and this says no on the card, this is an extra card and it says no. So you or them may say no, you might say no, or it just may not work out. Maybe not the way you want it to. Maybe the apology or whatever this is, isn't going to come out the way you wanted it to, or the way you would want it to come. Or maybe the way they would want it to come, but there is a no here. Maybe you need to set healthy boundaries with this person. Now, maybe, it could be that you guys come together and you forgive and you release and let go and all of that, right? Reconcile. But there could be something that's said or asked of you and you may have to say no. You you know, I forgive you and, you know, we can... that is the second time that has happened. I've done two readings and nothing was there. So that you guys might get some movement in your home. That could be angels watching over you. Could be an angel telling you no. Not not to let this person um walk over you. It could be that. So what I mean is you can be cordial with people, right? But that doesn't mean you allow them to do, to treat you the same way or um that could mean that you change the dynamics of the relationship. You know, I we can be cordial, especially if it's family. It's like, okay, well, yeah, we can be cordial, but I'm not allowing you to do this to me and I'm not going to go through this with you and and if it's a re, you know someone that you're in a relationship with be saying no so you may need to stand up and say no in some type of way it doesn't have to be argumentative um but you may feel called to say no but there's a lot of forgiveness here that needs to be done is what I'm hearing because they're saying if you don't forgive this is going to put you set you back so there's a difference Forgiveness and being assertive and setting healthy boundaries, okay? And then there's argumentative and blah, blah, blah. You don't want to do that. You want to stay on a higher frequency here, okay? Because this person's trying to come in and trying to, you know, reconcile in a way that they know how, okay? So what does that say? I just heard this and I thought it was so deep. She said, it doesn't mean that the person doesn't love you. It just means that do they love you in a way that is acceptable for you, is healthy for you? You know, sometimes we have to ask ourselves those questions, you know. So, yeah, let's see what um charms you can get. I'm telling you, like, three, four different decks. Four decks are on the ground right now. Just out of nowhere, Phil. And I think that's kind of creepy. Yeah, so, whew. This one, I would say meditate and pray on it and take your time. Like, really, take your time with this one and, um... It's about healthy boundaries. That's what they, they keep saying. It's about you having, establishing healthy boundaries boundaries with this person. Okay. Let's see which homes, what letters. Holy Spirit. Who is watching option two? What do they want them to know? Just a little bit. Okay. Heather. Heat. Heath. Mm-hmm. He, it could be a he. 
I just heard Shea. We have V. Um, Tavier? Heat. Mm hmm. Heat. Maybe there was a heated argument. I don't know. Heat. Hmm. <laughs> Ho. Maybe somebody was being. I don't know. Maybe someone was caught. Maybe um we have vote here. So it's almost like, I don't know why I'm seeing like a family voting. Okay, do we want to keep this person here or not? Do we want to keep them in our lives or not? I don't know. Um, Heat, vote. I don't know why I just heard advocate. Okay. Um, We have T. So maybe the truth is going to come out about a situation. T is going to be spilled. I don't know why I just heard vocational. Mm, although we don't have it, I just heard thief. Mm. Not cool. Um, the. I don't know why I heard valley. Um, I don't know why I just heard VMA. Okay. Toe? Something about the toe? Big toe? Okay. I don't know why I just heard happy days. I just heard vape. Evaporate. We have Eva. Eva, Eva. Um, Kelly. Haven. Heather. Have. The ha Why did I just hurt the have and the have nots? Oh lord. <laughs> the have and the have nots. Okay. Um Shawnee um Helenor Houston Ethan. Do we have Ethan? No. But I am hearing Ethan. I just heard Tame and Paula for someone too. Oats we have oats. Oat. Hmm. Something about cereal could be symbolic. More breakfast could be symbolic. Um. V Vienna, Viona, maybe v Vienna sausages. I don't know. I just heard that. V Viona, Vienna. Thomas. Hmm. Oh, I just heard hefty, hefty. Something about trash, like throwing the trash out. Let me see what else we can get. Can we get something else? Clean out. Somebody, somebody need to clean something. Clean. Um, maybe it's taking the trash out. If you know what I mean. We have Pat. We have tap. Oh, oh, wait. Isn't Marie Kondo? Is she into tapping objects to kind of get the energy moving? Yeah, someone could be into that. Maybe home improvement shows. I don't know. We do have, um, let's see. I just heard Howard. Maybe someone went to Howard or maybe someone's name is Howard or Howie. Um, we have Hova. Maybe someone she was witness. Okay, EA games. I don't know. I just maybe someone's playing games. Okay, hover. Maybe someone's hovering. Mhm. Mm zap. I don't know. I just heard like zap. Like um, you know, like on the price um, make deal or make it deal or no deal or something like that. It's almost like uh, this person wasn't what they thought that you thought they were, or maybe you weren't what they weren't what you thought you were. I don't know. Pew. I'm hearing pew as in like a church bench. We have eight here. You guys let me know what you see. We have a Q here too. Q. We have quote. Oh wait, no we don't. Damn. Maybe there's something here. We have hat. So your happiness is what's going to matter the most, obviously, right? So ask yourself... Are you happy around this person? 
Okay, um, I just heard tote. We, we have, um, I don't know, I just heard weasel. Someone could be a weasel. Weezer, weasel. Um, wet is here. Toe is here, like toe, toe something away. Yeah, I feel like it's like, I mean, um, I don't know why I'm hearing you didn't have to cut me out. Make up like it never happened and that we were nothing. And I don't even need your love, but you treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. No, you didn't have to stoop so low. Have your friends collect your records and change your number. I guess that I didn't need that. No, now you're so, just somebody that I used to know. Whoa. Ooh, talk about throwing stuff away. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Just hurt the past. Okay. We have um Pete Veep. Hmm. I just heard patch up. Someone's really trying to patch up something. Hmm. Then Ab Abigail, Abby, Vanessa. I just heard Perry, Pally, Penny. Okay. And I just heard Thoth for somebody. Thoth represents knowledge and wisdom. Keep. I just heard keeping score. Like someone... The divine is taking note of what's going on here. Okay? So whatever's being done, <laughs> oh, it's going to be seen. Like I told option one. Was it option one or was it you? I can't remember. Um, what, what is that quote? There's three things that can't be hidden for long. The sun, the moon, moon and the truth. <laughs> we have paws. So maybe someone has dogs or, um, you know, dogs are great at, like, letting people know when they, you know, when someone is coming up on the home or someone's coming up by, you know, up to them or protecting. So I think of the dog, I think of a loyal friend, a, a loyal companion. Um, I think about loyalty and protection and love, unconditional love. And in a way, maybe this is what that person was lacking. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys, option two. I hope that was able to help you. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know how it resonates, all right? But we're moving on to option three. Hey, lovely souls, what's happening? You guys have the clear quartz. Clear quartz is clarity. This is amplifier. Um, this is an amplifier. This is great for meditation. I'm getting like getting to the just the core of things in a such a pure, clarifying way, like clarity. I'm actually hearing John Mayer's Clarity, which I love, is one of my favorites. Um, I'm hearing, I worry. I go through, go through something, my body. I worry, I throw my fear around, but this morning is a calm I can't explain. Okay, so I worry. So this person may worry about, yep, seven of wands, challenge courage. So, person's on guard, defensive. This person who's watching you, they're, they're guarded, they're protected, they're defensive. So, it could even be that they might be protecting themselves from being caught. Maybe they're watching online or they're watching some type of way, but they're trying to protect or trying to, um, I'm hearing safeguard. This person is divinely protected, but in a way they're trying to protect themselves. So they're more like guarded warrior energy protection mode. Hmm. Judication. Oh, 30. Okay. Now oh, this person could be in court over something maybe maybe they're getting a divorce or maybe maybe it's the opposite maybe they're going to the court um to get married maybe they're getting their what is a marriage cer certificate license what what the heck do people get when they want to get married <laughs> look i'm tired i'm blanking right now um yeah like this person is maybe they're doing something in court if they're trying to protect something I just heard some type of agreement. I don't know. Let's see. Karmic relationship. Wow, this could even be someone who's married and is not telling people that they're married or that they're about to go. It's like when people run to Vegas to get married or they go to the courthouse to get married. There, it, it could be something quick like that. 
Um, it doesn't have to be, but the, we're trying to get an idea of who this person is. So this is someone that is in a relationship either with you romantically or was in a relationship with you romantically. So this would have been someone that you had some type of in, in, intimacy with at some point or you currently do. And if not, if that does not ring a bell, if that's not making sense, and this is someone who is having issues in their relationship, their relationship, who's watching you. Okay, and, the, and this would be a serious relationship that they would be in, okay? So keep that in mind. It could be a lot of people watching this one, so to tell you. Okay, so this is a guide. All right, so represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight whoa Whew. with the owl there that's enlightenment the lantern so someone's in court over something and it could be okay we're going to the court so that we can get married or we, that's what we're planning to do or we're in court because this relationship is not working out and this could directly you could be involved in this or this could be someone who's going through this who's watching you okay all right let's see what else we have cardinal look at that he's got the he's got the match it's lit <laughs> i just heard i set fire to the rain adele watch it burn as i touch your face what is in the lyrics of that song Oh my God, go listen to that song. It could be a sign. And look, there's a candle in this lantern. So someone's holding the light. Someone has enlightenment. Someone knows, sees, sees the truth, sees the light in the dark, sees something. And they're protecting themselves because they have this guidance. They have this knowledge. So we have instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. So the person who's watching you is, they, they do have some type of, enlightenment some type of intelligence intelligence okay but they're also going through some type of relationship either with you or or not um that they could be just going through a lot with like learning a lot with and they could be in court totally so this could be like spousal support child support um, maybe a, dis, um, a divorce, some type of disagreement, something with the, a, a partner or, um, a spouse or very opposite. They're going to get married at the court or they got married at a court. Um, yeah. And they, you could be directly involved or not. So we're going to leave that there. Let's see. Why are they watching you? Lapis lazuli. That's that. That's wisdom. We have this indigo. We got third eye chakra energy here because we got this purple and blue. We got some heavy indigo. That third eye is wide open. Somebody is seeing the truth through the darkness. Someone is seeing something. Okay, third eye. This is all about third eye. They are definitely watching. They are watching. I'm hearing, I've been watching you like a hawk in the sky. You are my prey, Aaliyah. Boy, I promise you if we keep... What is it? I mean, just know that one of these days we gonna hook it up, probably talk on the phone. We'll see. I don't know if that's good. I've been holding back this secret from you. I probably shouldn't tell you. If I if I let this go, you can't just tell it. Everybody, what is it? I'm talking about nobody. Are you responsible? Boy, I gotta watch my back because I'm not just anybody. Is it my is it my what? Or is it your go? Sometimes I'm dirty, dirty, some, right now I'm naughty, naughty. Say yes or say no, because I really need somebody. Tell me, are you that somebody? Everyone sleep, sleep, sleep. I'll be here. This is low key. Okay, so if you're in a relationship with this person, this would be like, what are the what are the young people call it now? A sneaky link? <laughs> God, I've never used that term in my life. Um, this could be like the couple that's low key. Like maybe they didn't tell people that they were as serious as they were, or that they went and got married. Or this is you in a connection with someone and you guys are keeping it on the low. And maybe you guys are married or maybe they're thinking about it. But anyway, this is low key. This person's low key. There's something sneaky here, but we have enhanced self-respect. So we have this light and this intelligence 
of seeing this pure seeing i mean hearing clarity oh clarity the crystal quartz um clair clarities right they can see clearly through this right this person's wanting clarity they're wanting to see the truth so this could be someone that you're dealing with i don't know why they just said could end up dealing with that's weird how are we getting future energy for who's watching you that's so strange that could be for someone out there maybe spiritually in the 5d they're aware there's that's strange okay let's go back this person i'm gonna make it real clear for you there's three groups here the three groups we have here is that one this is someone who is in a relationship that is very low-key and possibly going through some struggles they're defensive and trying to protect this connection um with whomever they're with who's watching you now how that relates to you i'm not quite sure yet okay but they're watching and they have a secret relationship that might be on and off or might be dealing with something in court whether they just got married or maybe they're having issues boom right flip side you could be dealing with this person you could be the person that they're dealing with you could be in a relationship with this person and this could be next okay so take it how it resonates general reading or choose another option okay so we have this lapis lazuli here whoa we're talking about ancient wisdom we're talking about something that stems back from a past life with this person you and this person have a past life no matter who this is you have a past life with this person and this is supposed to give you some type of clarity some type of um i'm here in truth seeker it's going to give you the truth of the matter now just be so, because someone comes in as a guide, right, doesn't mean that they're meant to stay forever. And it also doesn't mean that you're going to perceive this lesson as something that was positive or something that was, oh, just good all the time. Because let's be honest, relationships aren't good all the time. So let's see, why is this person watching you? Phobias. Whoa. G. Louise, this is some pa heavy past life energy. Like, whoa, Akashic Records, we have a soul contract in the higher realms by oh, 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 Phoebe moment. Maybe that's why they say it hasn't occurred yet because Akashic Records, you guys are both here freaking in the 5D at the Akashic Records and they're saying, hey, um, you guys have a soul contract to come together to go through this relationship whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship you guys are supposed to come together and kind of guide each other through this phase of life get over phobias and fears and enhance each other's self-respect separately meaning you're going to enhance your self-respect they're going to enhance their your their self-respect possibly because something that's going to occur in this connection or relationship and it's going to help you both to grow now this can help you to grow together or to grow apart for some of you, this is some heavy 5D stuff. With the owl here, the guide, yeah, this could actually be a spirit guide that's watching you. This could be like two different energies, actually. There could be a spirit guide that's watching you and trying to guide you. And then you have this opposite, this other energy here that's watching you. G. Louise, okay? Now, why? Marriage, G. Well, are we shocked? We have three here and we have three here. 33, six, harmony and love. This could have to do with love. Oh, we got a six here, 51. So we have two sixes, 12, breaks right back down to a three. Three, unity, the Holy God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, if you believe in that. I, I don't know why I was told to say that. We have the triangle here. We have um, mind, body, and soul, Trinity, the third energy, possibly. Could be three energies here watching you, possibly. Or a, 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 a dynamic a, a situation with three. Doesn't always have to be toxic. Because karmic does not mean toxic. <laughs> no matter how many YouTube or TikTok videos you watch, go look up the word karmic in a real dictionary. <laughs> Webster. Because karmic, when people see this, they get frazzled by this and that doesn't always mean that it's it's toxic it's just something that you have to learn it's something that's kind of faded and destined to play out okay so the marriage here with judication this could definitely be uh someone going to get married okay watching because maybe they want to marry you 
or maybe you guys are married already and maybe they're they don't trust something or maybe they're worried or maybe they're just watching you shit sometimes people just watch their partners <laughs> okay um and then maybe they, this person sees you as potential for someone that they can marry okay now flip side <laughs> this could be you have a soul contract coming in for someone that you're supposed to be marrying and 5d your 5d self already knows this their 5d self is watching you your guides are on this Okay, and then and on the other flip side, it could be that there's someone who was who's married or who was in a connection, and it could be going through something, or maybe they just want to confide in you. This person could be wanting to confide, so this could be like a friend. Hell, I don't know why I just heard this could be even an ex trying to confide in you. That's kind of like wild. But some people are still friends with their exes because not all exes, not all not all old relationships ended badly. Some people are actually friends with their exes in there and they're the father or mother of their children if they have children with someone and that's that's healthy i mean if you can end things on a good note that's that's beautiful so we have and it could even be that this person's trying to watch or spy in a way to see if you to see if there's anything like um you know when you buy like a really nice crystal you want to see if there's any blemishes. Is there is there any cracks or, you know, is there any cracks in the glass table that I brought? You know, um, it, it's kind of like that. Like, okay, is there something that I'm not seeing before I give my all to this person? It could be something like that as well. Okay. Vulnerability and freedom. Look at that North Star. Guide. Look. The guide. You're being guided to the North Star. Look at all the colors that are connected. This purple, indigo, blue. This this is... You guys are being guided um, possibly towards each other to... This can even be a friend you have a, 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 a soul contract with. You have a soul contract with this person. It's strong. It's heavy. You have past lives with this person. 5D selves are together talking about this. What you guys are supposed to do to, here together. And um, there's something that needs to be like, what did they say? Rehash? There's something that needs to be addressed here in this lifetime. Especially if you guys don't have an issue with this person or, or like already. Maybe this has something to do with a past life. Um, now, and then for some of you, this is someone that you are engaged to or married to that's watching you. Because maybe they're insecure. Okay, that clarity. Now, I need clarity. I need to know that we're good that's what i just heard right are we good okay um and then for the other few of you this is someone that is in a rocky relationship or dealing with something in their current partnership and they're looking towards you possibly to kind of like vent or to express themselves like Oh, how do I tell them that I went and got married? Or <laughs> or how do I tell this person that maybe I'm unhappy in my marriage? Um, I don't know why they're showing me that scene from... What is that movie? No, it's not a movie. It's a show on Netflix. What is it? It's called Sex Something. Is it Sex Life? Where she went and told the, the mom group that she was thinking about her ex. And she's married. And it's like, why would you go and tell a bunch of women who are unhappy about your issues you know that that's going to be passed along so um it could be something like that maybe someone's just looking for someone to vent to you but either way you got a soul contract with this person i'm curious to see what else we can get here someone may wear glasses there might be an older guide here that's trying to bring you guys together mm, someone might chew gum a lot that's random. I don't know why. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know why I just heard someone say, did I marry the right person? Or is this just my own inner insecurities and fears playing out? Oh, Ten of Swords. Endings, closure, final. I set fire to the rain. Um, yeah, like... Okay. 
two of swords choice and decision someone could be trying to decide if they should end a marriage end their uh, engagement end their relationship um give me one card at a time like i said if you could be a part of this relationship or they're coming to vent to you whoever this is let's see who's that oh oh god too okay the magician power action skill power so this person's I'm hearing that they're not feeling in their power. Um, they need to realize that they have a power to manifest whatever this is. That they need to watch their thoughts because their thoughts could be manifesting some things. They need to have self-respect. Yeah, I feel like this person's feeling like victim mode, victim mentality. I don't have power. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Oh my. Oh my. Well. Well, well, well. So we have family here. This could be a family member. It doesn't have to be. Like I said, this could be someone that you have a family with or they're wanting a family with you. Look, there's another candle. This could be someone who's in a family dynamic, a family situation. They're coming to you to vent. You just have to take it how it resonates. You're going to know. It's that first person energy that came to mind for you. Yeah, marriage with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, this is either someone that you're dealing with and they're insecure. It's like cold feet. Am I sure? Am I am I ready? Am is this my own point with this? I don't know why they're showing me best man from um you know best man Morris Chestnut, Tay Diggs, uh Terrence Howard. Um why did I get married? That's what I just that that those movies. Why did I get married? Maybe they're afraid. There's so much wind outside, it's creepy. Yeah, it's like a change in the weather. That's what I just heard, change in the weather. In the weather. Ooh, weather? Wow. Wedding planner? Wed Ooh, wedding planner. Yikes, that movie too. Maybe something with the wedding. Bingo, marriage, right? We're getting all these movies that have weddings. Um, I just heard the storm is coming. And look at how these waves look like they're up. And look, she's the angel is like going towards the star. It's like they're trying to show you. It's like the fairy godmother. Oh, God. Fairy godmother. Think of Cinderella, right? Fairy godmother comes in and says, hey, uh-huh, Lapis Azuli. Let me show you. Let me save this. Horse and carriage. Huh. Yo, this one is deep. This one's deeper than I originally thought. Third eye on this third eye on the skull hmm. you guys have several energies watching you you have this very godmother godfather energy watching over you trying to guide you to your north star trying to get you to see your power to manifest what it is you want highly watching over you may knock things over wind i'm hearing colors of the wind grandmother willow bingo pocahontas is that energy of like i can feel the presence um of you here it's also they're giving me a walk to remember not going to give away the movie but yeah i am going to give away the movie so if you have not seen the walk to re a walk to remember please skip this please okay like skip over it i'm about to tell it like right now okay um so in the movie when you know after jamie you know transitions he, you know, I think what is it? So many years later, he's became a doctor or whatever, and he's standing there and he's looking at the water. I can't, I don't know, but he says Jamie's like the her love is like the wind. I I can't see it, but I can feel it, and it's the essence. So, oh my God, they were married. They got married, and then she, you know she was ill, so they got married, and um, you know she passed away, and we have this endings here. So it could even be that maybe someone um. It could be, God forbid, it's something like that. Maybe someone's grieving, but there's someone who's wanting to communicate with you um, about, it has to do with romance, it has to do with wedding, and it could directly involve you, or they're wanting to vent to you. And then you have the spirit guide that's guiding you and trying to guide you to your North Star. Now, you want to look up what sign is in your North Note, this wanting you to see your potential and your power to have everything you desire and everything you want so this person's story, whether this is a friend or family member who's wanting to vent to you, 
could end up healing you in some type of way, healing the way you see relationships and family. And if this directly involves you, maybe you guys are healing, maybe it's this couples counseling, couples therapy, maybe you guys are needing to heal or resolve things, or maybe this is you deciding, wow, do you know, we're we're getting married, or we just got married, how am I gonna tell my family? You know, this is this can be multiple things for you guys, okay? So I just have to be blunt with you and honest that I'm getting a lot of different messages. Knight of Pentacles, prosperity, benefits, and investments. And for some of you, this could have to do with a property, home, um, finances, money, um, when it comes to a partnership, a connection, like maybe trying to hash out like who's going to get what, um, if they divorce or um, when you come together, like do we blend our, like do we put our assets together? Do we keep separate bank accounts? It. It's something, it's something to the degree when it comes to contracts and relationships. Okay. Keep that third eye wide open. I just heard why, what is that show? No, 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 not a show. It's a movie. Eyes wide shut. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. I, yeah, oh my God, we have two swords. Eyes wide shut. Hmm. Huh. Maybe that movie might hold some significance to someone, but I've never seen it, so I can't tell you what it's about. Um, and then we have the owl here who's all seeing, you know, can turn its head in all different di directions. Yeah, so let's see what charms you guys have here. What's happening, Captain? Holy Spirit, who's watching option three and why? Can we get a little something something for them? team on each other's team lord to uh, to quit to not to quit to quit to not to quit victory jesus christ all that win on that only happened for you guys that's saying a lot windy look up win symbolically like what does that mean spiritually something going with the wind i don't know um <laughs> witty someone could be witty this is not giving me what we need we need something else i'm hearing be open i just heard open up somebody needs to open up someone someone has some personal love love and they need to do on themselves i just heard don't do it for the cloud so don't go online and share a bunch of things maybe this person needs to know that maybe you need to know that cloud some 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 type of information could be in someone's cloud Ooh, that's why I don't like the cloud, man. You gotta be careful what screenshots you um, take. <laughs> um, let's see. Cla Claude? That's what I just heard. Claude. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I don't know if I just heard that. Happy and you know it. So we have clan. Uh oh. Um, clap. Lap. Uh oh. Lap. Ooh, baby, you want me? And you can get this lap dance here for free. Um, you guys remember that song? I don't know why I just heard that. I don't know why I just heard woman crush. My woman crush of whatever. Remember when people do that? Man crush, woman crush. I can and I will. That's what I just heard. I can and I will. I can. I can. Okay. Maybe someone's name is Vilma. 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 Um, Wilma. Yeah, because we have... Oh, maybe someone's a villain. I don't know. And maybe they're going to come and tell you what something, what happened. Um, yeah, because they're saying, um, hold on, villain. Vil mm, no, we don't have an M. Okay. But I am here in Vilma. I just heard Leanne. Anise or Venice, some something about Anise, and um maybe his actual niece, but Anise, like someone has Anise, Anise or Venice or, um, I just heard Venetian too. Okay, we have wait. Hmm. Maybe someone's like, should I wait? Should I, should I get married now? Should I wait? Players anthem. What is that? I typed this up to the girl I used to meet, telling that I chose this cutie pie to whom whom i choose to be and i apologize if this message gets you down that i cc every girl that i cc around town i hate to make something but i'd rather see her smile witness all around me true but i'm no i'm no island peninsula maybe make wait peninsula maybe give up all this pussy kept that's in my lap no looking back pussy kept that's in my lap 
lap, no looking back. Spaceships don't come equipped with the rear view mirrors that they dip as soon as they can. The atmosphere is now something. I'm, I'm glad it's night. Something, something. Keep your heart. Keep your heart to sex. Keep your heart. Keep your heart to sex. Keep your heart. These girls are smart to sex. These girls are smart. Play your part. Play your part. Yeah, what, what did he say? Something, if that trick do you dirty, we'll take her, we'll wipe, wipe her ass out like detergent. Now hurry, hurry, go on to the altar. I know you're not a pimp, but pimp, remember what I taught you. Keep your heart, three stacks. Keep your heart. Keep your heart. Okay, so that has the <laughs> international players anthem. <laughs> no cap. That's what I just heard. So, okay. Mmm. I'm telling you so something about a wedding and now they're playing that i mean it could be anything with the wedding um because now they're playing um, that neo song where he talks about going to the wedding of his ex like <laughs> he went there he went to the wedding of his ex and he had the nerve to say um she looks so good in that white dress standing up on this on the yeah at the aisle something like that there's some other man's face there's a smile I just walked in and sat down silent at the far end of the house. Something like that. He basically he says he he throws a back a drink and he shouts she's with somebody else. Now all I can do is smile and fade into the background. Whoa. Okay. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but just it could be different for all of you guys. We have cola. Maybe like maybe someone likes Coca-Cola or Pepsi Cola. Cola weight. Um, my pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola. Excuse my French. That's Lana Del Rey. Um, my eyes are wide like cherry pies. I have a taste for men who are older. It's always been, so it's no surprise. Lana Del Rey. We have Lana here. Maybe someone's name is Lana. Um, wow, we have thought. Maybe someone thinks someone is a thought or is afraid that they may end up being a thought. Someone could be a cop. Someone could be here, a person of color. We have Pac here. Okay, what else? Maybe someone's trying to patch something up. Someone could be focused on their coins is what I'm hearing. Maybe, ah, that Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they're afraid that someone's going to... Oh, yeah, like um, Big Boy says in the song, he said... Um, oh, God. He mentions, uh, gee, I'm blanking right now, you guys. The Beatles, the Beatles, the Beatles. Come on, the Beatles, the Beatles, the Beatles. Paul McCartney, bingo. Paul McCartney. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I just heard say, say, say. Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. Oh, my God. Anyways, um, in this song, he says, um, Paul McCartney because I think he had a wife that may have taken him for some money or maybe a girlfriend or something like that so maybe someone's afraid of getting married because of the coins like money that might be invested like having to merge assets or should we merge assets or what if I don't know I'm sorry Miss Jackson Ooh, I am for real never meant to make it okay so maybe somebody's an outcast fan um, because maybe someone's dealing with something in court. I don't know. I, I really, guys, this one's a, this one's a wild one. This one's like a, a toss up wild card. VA, maybe someone's from Virginia, um, Wisconsin. I just heard, a uh, so, someone might be from the east side is what I'm hearing. Oh, I just heard North Philly, y'all. Okay, that's on some Jill Scott. Maybe it's a Jill Scott song y'all might want to listen to. I don't know. Um, oh, why did I get married? Okay, okay. What happened? Her husband cheated on her with her friend. Uh, yikes. I don't, I don't know, but she ended up marrying this other guy. I, I don't know. But it was a secret wedding because she didn't tell her friend she married him. I don't know. There could be anything here. Woo, okay. Winnie. I just heard Winnie. Winston. Winston Churchill. Maybe somebody likes Winston Churchill. Someone's vain. Oh, I bet you think this song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? What does it go? How does it? Aha, uh hoo hoo. Could you get the money too? Greedy motherfucker try to have his cake and eat it too. Son of a gun. 
Okay, that's Janet Jackson's remix. Well, basically, I think Carly Simon, clouds in my coffee. Yep, clouds in my coffee. Did I mention the cloud? Ha ha hoo hoo. Yeah, so Carly Simon had, had, a, had a song, has a song. And then Janet Jackson got her on her song and kind of did like this kind of little mix up. Um, and um, kind of like a mini little tribute to Carly Simon, if you think about it. But anyways... Oh, wow. Now we're getting, like, a lot of Janet Jackson because now I'm hearing um, Joni Mitchell never lie. Okay, now we got Joni Mitchell coming through. We got some older um, si um singers coming through. So Carly Simon, Joni Mitchell. Um, Janet Jackson mentions both of those two singers in, in different songs. So Joni Mitchell never lied. Um, what is that? You don't know what you got till it's gone. Now you realize when the time go by, right? You bet for me to stay when you know that I'm something right you act all wow when i tell you to settle i was looking at you something in the girl in the middle I, something as she used to roam on the beach something but my love you and peach now you looking at get something here closure, breaking my house hanging up and imposing now why you want to go and do that love huh now why you want to go and do that and do that huh and why you want to go and do that love huh and why you want to go and do that and do that and do that so you don't know what you got to until it's gone so, go listen to that song. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, wow. All right. Maybe someone's name is Janet. I don't know. Maybe someone's name is Joni or Mitchell or Carly or Simon. Who knows? Or maybe the song just has a message for you. Should I quit? Should I say or should I go now? Girl, you gotta let me know. Doom, 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 doom. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? You guys remember that song? Okay. It's way back. Um, Way, way, way back. Way back. Okay. So let's see what else is coming through. Money's here on the table. That's impo important. They're mm, potent. So they just said potent. Um, So we're not moving that. Pal? Maybe this is a pal. A friend of yours wanting to speak their truth. Thelma and Louise. That's what I just heard. Uh, oh, Thelma and Louise. Wasn't someone having issues with their marriage? I can't remember. And then they had sex with a young guy who ended up taking her for her money. Okay. Hmm. They didn't have to die in that movie. They really didn't. Anyways. Um, I don't know why that came through. Maybe somebody likes the movie Thelma and Louise. I don't know. Maybe that's a, I don't know. This would be a friend of yours. Um, it's like a duo, right? The iconic duo. Oh, we have iconic. Ah, ah, okay. Iconic, maybe almost. No, not really. Um, icon, icon living. Okay. Uh, what's his name? Jaden, Jaden Smith. Maybe someone's last name is Smith. Maybe someone's name is Jaden. Who knows? Icon. Okay. Something could be iconic. <laughs> they just said it like, um, uh, Joanne the Scammer. I got it. Okay. I don't know where all this energy is. Someone's a bit playful here. Hmm. Packed. <sighs> I just heard theatrical. Mmm. Thaw out. Something needs to thaw out is what they just said. So something needs to kind of like melt, melt, baby, let me melt the ice. Oh, Britney Spears. Let me melt the ice. Hmm. Wow, that is wild. I'm getting um taking that hum. Maybe somebody likes their um his book or one of his books, or you need to read one of his books. Take that hum. I don't have all the letters, but I am getting him, and God bless him. Rest in peace, his beautiful soul. Much gratitude. I'm actually filming this on the day he passed away, so I'm kind of I'm, I'm getting that energy heavy here. Someone might be in, maybe someone's um into Zen like energy, maybe someone's into Buddhism, or they need to get into some type of meditation practice, gratitude, smile, um, yeah, being grateful for where they are in life instead of worrying because we did have that worry energy here. Oh, oh my, okay, we're about to flip the energy a bit. Oh, someone's wearing a different hat, so you might have to play a different part. You may, um, like, for example, if you're used to being the one who always needs guidance, you may be giving the guidance, okay? So, and, but I, I just want to point this out, um, right here. I don't know why, but it's there. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Are we really gonna? Are, are we almost? We were almost there. Oh, gee. Anyways, um, hmm. What else do we have? <sighs> Clip. Hmm. Clippers. Maybe someone's into basketball or maybe someone's about to clip their hair or clip someone off. We have tip. Getting a tip on something, getting a tea on something. I'm just heard I just heard full disclosure. Maybe someone has a significant tattoo. Hmm. You don't want to be a pawn in someone's game. I just heard that. Chess moves. Okay, so we're just getting a lot. We have Cleo here. I'm getting Cleo. Claudia. How I don't know why I just heard it's a no for me, dog. And um, <laughs> what's his name, yo? Oh my god, I remember American Idol. Why am I blanking on his name? Simon, Paula, and Randy. Okay, <laughs> maybe someone likes to sing. Randy, um, Randy Jackson. No, oh, Jackson. Maybe someone's last name is Jackson. I didn't mention Jenna Jackson. Um, yeah. Now, um, now Nala. Talia, Tally, um, Penny, Paulina, Paulina, I don't know why I got that name, um, Callie, maybe someone lives in California, California love, Tupac, um, West Coast, we had East Coast earlier, now we got the West Coast coming in, okay, wait a minute, that song by Ray J is coming through, wait a minute, okay, we're getting a lot of different stuff, stuff right now. Um, on the low, that's what I just heard. On the low, keep it on the low. They don't have to know. Keep it on the low. Cat call. Okay, cat. Cat low. Um, they just said, um, cat woman. That's strange. They don't have to know. They don't know. They don't know by John. Is it John B? What is his name, John B? They don't know what this is. Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about about you and me. Get out your mind because it's jealousy. They don't know. Oof. Girl, let's talk about things I used to do, the things I used to say, the girls that didn't last. Something was on your mind. Pain. Oof. Think I'm doing wrong. When I'm not around, do you think of me? Mm. Could this be a person that maybe you or maybe this person... If it's you, maybe you know that you're not supposed to be with this person. Or maybe they know they're not supposed to be with you. Or maybe you have a friend or a family member or somebody come into you because they're with someone that they know has done them wrong. I don't know. Like this and like that. Isn't there a song like that? Like this and like that. IV. Maybe someone's into um, getting vitamin C IVs or something with IV. The IV. I just heard quilt. Quiver. Okay, well, um, we can go at this. We have cow here. Okay, cow, cat. <laughs> what was that Doja Cat song? Did she have a song called Cow or something? Oh, I'm learning, you guys. I feel old. Okay. Aletha? Athena? We have Athena here. I'm getting Athena, the goddess. Maybe someone's name is Athena. Aletha, Athena, Raja, um... Um, Callie. Ooh, Callie. Uh-oh, we got some goddesses coming here. Parvati. Okay, so we got some strong goddess energy coming through. No time to be meek or timid. Assertive. That's what I just heard. I just heard I paved the way for you. Oh, oh, that guide. Ah, that's who that is. I've paved the way for you. Follow your intuition. They said, do not merely just act. Follow your intuition before you act. Wise counsel. Heed wise counsel. The adjudication. VIP. Something about VIP. And I just heard pivot too. It's interesting. VIP. Ka 
Potomac. Catalina, Catalina, Catalina. That could be significant for someone, Catalina. Hmm. Walk. I just heard walk. One. One. Wonton? Maybe someone likes wonton soup or wonton. Talisman? I just heard talisman. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Real quick. Uh, coach. I just heard coach. We have coat too. Coat. Coat. I just heard cobra and coffee. Ally. Ally. Um, Allie and AJ. <laughs> uh, Piper. Paige. Lips. Your lips are moving. Oh, what was it? Megan the trainer. You're, what happened to Megan the trainer, y'all? What happened to her? She was doing so good. She was actually talented. Um, your lips are moving. Go listen to that song. Anna, Annie, are you okay? Are you jealous? Are you okay? Okay, Michael Jackson. With all these Jacksons, different Jacksons, not all related, but you know, you got Jackson come in. Um, we have Nana, Nanny, Anna, Hattie. That's such an old name, Hattie. Okay, um, I think that's all I have, you guys. I just heard wilt, it's wilt, like something's wilting, wilted. And tilt, so changing, like shifting something. We did have pivot, so something needs to like shift to see something differently. Getting the knot, like unraveling the knot, something needs to be unraveled. Oh, 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 hold up. Hold the front door, or well, almost. Well, no, we don't have it, but we do have tie. Wait, no, we don't. Okay. Um, But I heard tying the knot, unraveling a knot. Ooh. Or, get, or unraveling some type of, you know, miscon... I just heard misconception. Wow, mi confusion. And then I just heard, now why you want to go and do that, love, huh? Right back to the song. Okay, so go listen to the songs that I, I told you guys, okay? Because, all right, that's a lot of messages coming through for a lot of you, okay? I just heard Nancy and Nice. <laughs> what, Pansy? What? Nice, um... L'Oreal, I don't know, I just heard that. L Lola, Lola, Lola. Someone might be trying to quit smoking. I just randomly heard that. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. It could even be an ancestor smoked for some of you guys. That could be significant on who that, who that is that's guiding you. Anyways, that's what I have. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But I am out. Have a good one.